What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in with an update video here on this uh well it is uh Saturday night. Checking out some earthquake activity out here on this uh evening. It's about uh what do we got? 8:33 p.m. here on this Saturday night. A little bit of earthquake activity to talk about here. Out here on this beautiful planet. Indonesia, what's going on out there in the Indonesia region? A little bit of movement, quite a few fives kicking off out there over the last 24 hours or so. We'll check out the latest from the EMSC website on the earthquake activity around the globe. Because I want to show you guys something here. You see that movement there in Japan on the seismograph station right there? See that significant signature? That's a pretty good sized earthquake. But take a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here from the USGS. Nothing, nothing showing up. No major movement up here in Japan, okay? Let's go ahead and check this out on the EMSC website. Sometimes it takes the USGS um, a long time for whatever reason. Okay, there's a pretty good size earthquake up here. Off the coast of Japan, a 6.0 earthquake striking off in Japan at a depth of about 10 kilometers, okay? Now some, some, uh, there was one other site, uh, actually an app on my phone, showing it as a 6.1 magnitude quake. But the EMSC website showing a 6.0 off the coast, the east coast of Japan, just a short time ago, about 10 minutes ago, at a depth of about 10 kilometers. Once again, a 6.0 off the coast of Japan. You can see that purple, purple size earthquake. Okay. Now this comes after a, uh, a pretty active, well, let's go ahead and check out the last seven days over in Japan. Okay. This does not show the earthquake that just struck. It does show the 6.0 that struck in that same region of the, as that 6.0 struck tonight. But also, that 6.7 that struck, okay? There was a 6.7 that struck a while back ago within the same region. Okay, we are seeing a major seismically increase in this area, right? This is probably about the third six-pointer in this region. Once, once it kicks in, okay? The USGS is slow, but it's there. It is on. It is on. Right there. You guys see that? That's a pretty good signature of an earthquake right there showing up in Japan. On the Japan seismograph station there, it looks like Hoka, Hokkaido. Uh, you know, don't quote, do not quote me on that, okay? You, you guys know about my pronunciations. It's not perfect. And it's far from average, <laughs> let me tell you. But I'm trying. It's in Japan. Pretty good size quake also showing up on the Solomon Islands area. Uh, that's going to be this little signature right here. Okay. 6.0 will show up on a way, a way far away seismograph station. But anyway, getting back to the movement here in Japan, folks, if we look at the last 30 days of earthquake activity in this region where we've seen multiple 6.0s, that's a telltale sign of something bigger impending okay and i've always talked about this region along the japan trench here i've talked about it for the past couple weeks i've seen the next major quake this is going to be the next major quake area i still believe that and i'm just getting a little confirmation with the 6.0 that we had just a few minutes ago i mean it's it's all kind of coming together if you will uh, for for a possible much larger quake, okay? USGS, man, come on, get on the ball, folks. You guys are off of the. You guys are off on your time scale. I mean, what is going on? How long? Did, how? Why does it take you guys so long to uh, to focus on earthquake activity? Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit closer. Well, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't use the EMSC website too often. I just don't. See if we can find it here. Oh man, I don't even know where that six pointer just w it went to. 513. I think we're missing it. <sighs> we 
Okay, anyway, it's there. It's shown up on the seismograph stations. It's there on the EMSC map. It's this purple circle up here. Just off the coast of Japan, folks. Six pointer. Oh, now it's down. Check it out. <laughs> now it's downgraded to a 5.8 according to the EMSC website. USGS has not issued anything yet. 5.8, 6.8. What is it? 6.0? Invisible, non existent earthquake? What's going on out there? Okay, let's do a little update as we are looking at uh, or waiting for the USGS to come, uh, come along. Tremor map showing continued movement at the southern end of the Cascadia. We have not seen a heightened sense of earthquake act or uh, tremor activity. A dwindling down, if you will. Only 50 epicenters at the southern end of the Cascadia. That's a good thing. But I also think that it's a, I think it's applying uh, a higher increase in pressure out here along the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. That includes areas of Tokyo, Japan, the Japan Trench, areas to the um, Aleutian Islands area. This region right here is a hot spot in my mind, in my dreams, uh, when it comes to a large mega quake. I'm, I'm seeing it. I've been dreaming about it. It's kind of weird. I've just been having some strange dreams. So, um, I don't know what's going on with the USGS. It's still not on the globe. It's still not on their map. It's on the EMSC website, downgraded to a 5.8. It's a, it's a legit earthquake. There's that 5.8 5 right there. It's a legit earthquake because we see it on the seismograph stations in the Japan area. And also, you can see it at times showing up on other distant stations. But that's it right there. That's the 5.8 originally a 6.0 in japan area so i'm not going to wait around all night for the usgs they must be out you know having a couple drinks having you know some enjoyment on their saturday night or maybe their computers are down who knows but preliminary earthquake data should be sent out automatically but it's not all right folks we'll be back a little bit later um if we need to update anything for now 5.8 earthquake off the coast of japan according to the emsc website usgs reporting nothing We'll chat you guys a little bit later.